down to the pasture right away and herd those horses into the stable. That's more than a storm brewing. That cramp for another twister? Uncle Henry, have you seen Toto? Toto? Well, I imagine he's around someplace. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Shooing the hens into the roost. He mustn't do that. He'll frighten them. Uh, leave them be, Dorothy. Those hens have to be shooed in for their own good. At least Toto's helping us get ready for the storm, which is a mite more than I can say for some folk around here. No, Henry, don't be harsh on the girl. What? I'm not being harsh on her, Emily. I just want her to use her two God-given hands like everybody else around here and help us tie down a few things before they blow clear over the eye away. Well, now, maybe the child's ailing. Then she ought to be in bed, not getting in everybody's way. Don't mind you, Uncle Henry. He's just nervous about that storm. Are you ailing, child? Seems to me you've been mooning around since before breakfast. Oh, no, Aunt Emma, I'm not ailing. Although I do feel sort of a tingly inside. Tingly? Most strange and shivery. I knew it. You've gone and caught the chilblains. Dorothy, you march right into the house and get to bed. I'm going to make some hot sassafras tea and plenty of... Oh, no, Aunt Emma, it's nothing like that. It's the storm. The storm? Well, it was on a day just like this. A long time ago, it seems. I was scooped up by a cyclone and swept to the land of Oz. Swept? <laughs> land sakes, is that what's troubling you? And I thought it was serious. Child, when will you understand? There is no land of Oz, except maybe in your dreams. Oz just doesn't exist. Oh, it does, Aunt Em. It does exist. I was there. And, and so was Toto. And the Scarecrow and the Tin Man and the Cowardly Lion. I saw them. <sighs> Dorothy, maybe your Uncle Henry's right. You go get Toto and the two of you give Amos a hand fetching the horses from the pasture. Aunt Em? They don't believe me, Toto. They don't believe in the land of Oz. But you and I know better, don't we? Far from this Kansas prairie, there's a magic land. It's colorful and gay. A land where wonderful things happen. And you know, sometimes I wish I could go back there. Oh, just for a little while. To see all my friends again. There's a far away land, a far away land, where daydreams and wishes and rainbows are planned. Twice as far as a star may seem, or as close. As the ripples in a stream Should a far away look Come into your eye Just hop on the first candy cloud That comes by Trade your dreary Far away land, that far away land, where rainbows and wishes and daydreams all come true. I wish, oh, I wish we could go back. Don't you? Amos! Amos! Oh, it's a cyclone!
you've blown away. But this isn't our meadow. Everything's different. You know what? I don't think we're in Kansas at all. Well, if that isn't silly... What's silly? This sign pointing in three different... Who said that? I did. Who's I? Me. You? Yes, me, I, you. Oh, stop it. You're confusing me. Oh, well, you started out confused. Look at you pointing three different ways at once. Listen. Any ordinary signpost can stand at crossroads, pointing in one direction, day in and day out, never changing, growing old and dull. Not I. I carry a large assortment of directions. I give people three choices. This way, that way, and anyway. But how can the Emerald City be there, there, and there? Obviously, that's impossible. <laughs> Don't you think so? Hmm. Well, of course it is. Why do you stand there giving people wrong directions? I beg your pardon. Only two of them are wrong. One of them is absolutely right. Which one? Uh, this one. No, this one. No. How should I know? I have never been to the Emerald City. Well, then as a signpost, you're no use at all. I know. That's the trouble. I just can't make up my mind. Most everybody knows the way that he or she goes. But life has treated me quite unfair. Cause I go up in all directions, I go up in all directions, I go up in all directions, never, ever wind up anywhere. When people venture forth, they know their south from their north. They seldom carry a dime. A ram. But I go up in all directions, I go up in all directions, now potentially I'm just a sham. So don't get out of joint, if I just point, point, and point, 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 and point, and point, and point. Cause even I cannot tell exactly where I I'm so eager to get to the Emerald City and see the Scarecrow. Well, that road will take you there. No, this road. Oh, dear, there I go again. <sighs> Toto, looks as though we'll have to find the Emerald City by ourselves. <laughs> Good idea. If we get lost again, just look me up. Uh, by the way, give me a call when you do. <laughs> Him hush. She'll hear him. She'll come here and find me and turn me into pumpkin pie. Who will find you? Who are you talking about? Mombi, of course. Who's Mombi? You mean to say you never heard of Mombi? The very wickedest witch in Oz? Where do you come from, anyway? Well, I'm Dorothy from Kansas, and this is Toto. He's from Kansas, too. And you never heard of Mombi there? Th don't you have witches in Kansas? Well, n not officially. Huh. No witches. Must be very far away. 
Oh, yes. Very far. A long, long way. Even by cyclone. But why is Mommy after you? What did you do? It's more what I didn't do. I'm a slave, you see. She waited until I was ripe, then stole me from the field where I'd been raised from seed. Took me home and carved a face on me. And made me arms and legs and put me right to work. And I hate my job. I hate being a witch's helper. I don't mind stirring the magic potions or saddling or broomstick. But when it comes to feeding the spiders and dusting the toads... Yeah. Oh, so icky and ooey. Yeah. So wormy and wormy. Yeah. And she's getting more and more of the nasty things. Because she's cooking up a very special wicked potion for an extra special evil deed, which takes plenty of spiders and toads. This morning she brought in two dozen fresh ones. <laughs> so I ran away and hid myself here. If she finds me, she'll do terrible things to me. Terrible. Poor Pumpkinhead. I don't blame you a bit. We mustn't let her find you. You just come with me to the Emerald City and meet my friend the Scarecrow. He's king of Oz now, and he'll set you free. He doesn't like witches either. <laughs> you come when I call? Someday you'll get lost and I won't be able to find you. Big deal. Strange. I thought I heard a voice. And a very rude one, too. Oh, Toto, look at all the witch things. I wonder if that's a real flying broomstick. Is that a real magic brew cooking? Hey. What, the two-dollar tour? Oh, it's you. You can speak. Well, <coughs> that's the discovery of the weight. Yeah, I can sling a little lingo. Mommy taught me. You interested in magic? Oh, yes. <coughs> Go ahead, take a look in the pot. <coughs> look the lid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> My goodness! They tried to take Toto! Horrid green snakes! Not snakes, kiddo. <laughs> but they're not quite done yet. Need a pinch of this. <laughs> and a dash of that. <laughs> Very powerful recipe, as you'll see. Well, not me. I've seen enough. This is a horrid place. Just as Pumpkinhead said. Good day, Mr. Crow. Oh! <laughs> What's your hurry, my dear? Stay and chat a while. I... I'd like to, but I really can't... It isn't often that I have such pleasant company. This isn't really a visit. I just came to... You must be hungry, my dear. Let me get you something to eat. No, thank you very much. Uh, I'm not a bit hungry. Something for your dog, then. The dear little creature. Ow! Stop that, you naughty dog! You'll have to forgive Toto. He doesn't usually snap. Toto! Toto! Then you must be Dorothy. How perfect! Now you must stay, I insist! Thank you, but... Sit down! I keep my strong arm 
chair for special guests. I've been wanting to meet you ever since your last visit to Oz, when you destroyed my cousin, the Witch of the West, and helped a miserable scarecrow to the throne of Oz. He's not miserable. He will be when I get through with him. Things have changed, my dear. It is Mumby you have to deal with now. And Mumby has powers you never dreamed of. She looked in the pot, Mumby. She saw what was cooking. <laughs> you saw my new pets. Elephants, my dear. Green elephants. A magical brew of giant green elephants. To gather down the walls of the Emerald City and scatter the troops of Oz and place Mumby on the royal throne. And as for that straw man king, there won't be enough of him left to stuff a mattress. How can you think of hurting the scarecrow? He's the kindest, gentlest creature in the world. <laughs> hey, Mumby, that brew looks a little weak to me. Needs something to spice it up. Maybe some uh, puppy dog tail? Yes, and his ears and whiskers too. Wonderful idea. You let Toto alone, you wicked old witch. Don't you dare put him in the pot. <laughs> but the fire is dying out. I need more wood. Pumpkinhead! Pumpkinhead! Where is that lazy lout? Pumpkinhead! I'll fix him too. <laughs> I'll be right back with a nice load of firewood. Coming, pet? <laughs> Looks like we'll never see Kansas again, Toto. Psst! Pumpkinhead! will not point the way to me. I gulp the slightest soap and I say to me, I tell me, don't be preoccupied with things on the gloomy side. Your troubles are mostly magnified. All your foolish fears will come to naught. Nothing's as bad as 
show you this for life It's kind of simple once You really have been taught To give Stand there, come help me. Oh, are you stuck? What do you think I'm doing like this? Bird watching? Get me off of this stupid pole. No, no, not that way. Aching back. Ah, this feels good. Thought nobody'd ever come. Much obliged to you, folks. I'm your friend for life. You can say a lot of things about old Woodenhead, but he never forgets a friend or a favor. No siree. Woodenhead? Who's Woodenhead? That's me, Woodenhead Stallion, the third, at your service. What happened to you, Woodenhead? Well, why were you upside down? Well, that's a very sad story. I like sad stories. They're the best kind. Well, you see, the trouble with me is I can't hold a job. I had fancy ideas for a wooden horse, but nothing worked out. I wasn't fast enough to be a racehorse, too lazy to be a farm horse. Tried to get a job as a clothes horse, but just didn't have the figure. Poor wooden head. Oh, say that again. I love sympathy. Oh, uh, poor wooden head. Thank you. Anyway, things were desperate, so I swallowed my pride, curled my mane, polished my hooves, forged a few references, and landed a job on a merry-go-round. A merry-go-round horse? What fun! I love merry-go-rounds. Yeah, well, they're okay to visit, but you wouldn't want to live there. After a few weeks, I knew I'd made another mistake. I just seemed to be going around and around in the same place, not getting anywhere. Some horses win derbies and world acclaim, while others jump hurdles in search of fame. Some horses take pride because they ride at the head of the cavalry. Not me. Not me. Not me. From village to village, from town to town. Pity the horse that must dwell on the carousel. Pity the horse that must dwell on the carousel. Some horses win ribbons and cups, you know. And those that don't win at least place and show. Some horses appear and people cheer as they gracefully canter by. Not I. Not I. Not I. Around and round and up and down. From village to village, from town to town. Lucky am I that I fell from the carousel. Pity the horse that must dwell on the carousel. Well, that's the story of my life. Always finishing last. Wooden horse, what are you going to do now? I don't know. Well, why don't you come with us? We're on our way to the Emerald City. Emerald City? The capital? You know somebody there? You got connections? Well, my friend the Scarecrow is king. The king? 
You know the king? Oh, why didn't you say so? Kings give out fine jobs all day long. Why, with one stroke of his pen, he can appoint me royal steed, head of the royal cavalry. Swift promotion, that's what I like. Will you put in a good word for me, Dorothy? The trouble is, he may not be king for long. His throne is in danger. Danger? We're on our way to warn him. I'm your boy. Who can get you there faster than me? We'll gallop all the way. I'm sorry, it's that stupid merry-go-round training. Got me going in circles. Never mind, Woodenhead. A little practice will straighten you out. Giddy up! Beginning with S. Nine letter word beginning with S. A young girl and two uh, creatures to see you, <laughs> Your Majesty. Tell him to go away. Can't you see I'm doing my crossword puzzle? Nine letter word beginning with S. Meaning a figure used to frighten birds. Boy, they're making them tougher and tougher. Nine-letter word. Scarecrow! Scarecrow! That's it! Scarecrow! Thank you! Dorothy! Oh, Scarecrow, I'm so glad to see you. Let me look at you. Same pigtails, same freckles, a little taller maybe, but the same lovable Dorothy. Oh, these are my friends, Pumpkinhead and Woodenhead. Uh, I mean, Woodenhead Stallion the Third. At your service. Oh, Scarecrow, you're so royal looking now with your beautiful crown. But, you know, I was much happier wearing my battered old hat. B-R-A-N-E spells brain. And anyone knows a brain can cause you stress and strain. And anyone knows a brain can make you think, make your eyes begin to blink. Make your nose begin to twitch. Make your scalp begin to itch. You'll find a brain's a liability. Gee, you're better off by far to be the way you are than an itch and twitch and person with a B R A. As almost anyone knows, you know, it's funny. For years, I stood in the cornfield wishing I had a brain. <laughs> B-R-A-N-E. You remember? I thought that if I had a brain, I'd have the one thing I was missing. Intelligence. Then I got a brain, and you know what? I discovered that merely having a brain didn't make me intelligent. <laughs> You don't learn to use your brain, it's nothing but a big headache. That's what it is, a big headache. You'll find a brain's 
Anyone knows? My head simply wasn't made for a crown. Yeah, that's what Mombi thinks, too. Mombi? Who's Mombi? The wicked witch who made me. She wants to be queen of Oz. We came here to warn you. She's on her way here right now with a herd of magic green elephants. She swears she'll capture the Emerald City and, and take your crown and, and make everyone her slave. She can't do that. It's unconstitutional. It's illegal immoral. It's downright inconvenient. Oh, dear, I know I should be doing something kingly and impressive, but I don't quite know where to start. This is my first invasion. You know, I, I've simply had no practice. Never forgets. An elephant never forgets. Whatever it happens to be, large or small. An elephant never forgets. An elephant never forgets. There's nothing a pachyderm cannot recall. Would it please you to hear the table of weights and measures? Never forgets. An elephant never forgets. But please don't ask us to say specifically what. Because, because, because. We forgot. How much time do we have? When do you think Mommy will get here? Well, let's see. She had to cool the brew and pour it in the molds and get them all here, so I'd say, uh, about now. Uh, Miss uh, Mombi, uh, to see you, sir. Will that do? Mm. We'll have to use our wits. 
with. I'm scared out of mine. Do, do you have any left? Is it changing? Under Mombi's rule, it's becoming mean and ugly, just like her. Look. We must save our friends and save ours. But how? On to Tinland, Woodenhead. Let's see how fast you can go. Yes! Go to Tinland. My elephants will trample your tin man to a pile of scrap, which I'll feed to the royal goat. And as for you, my prisoners, I have some very special plans for you. Ah, turn them over to me. I've got a score to settle with scarecrows. Ah, they used to give me a hard time when I was knocking over cornfields. Yes, pet, you can help me. We'll both have hideous fun. <laughs> me dear I've just been rechromed and I take fingerprints like mad just blow me a kiss who's your friend oh his name is Pumpkinhead. <laughs> that figures and this is Woodenhead stallion the third at your service welcome to Tinland my friends and what can I do for you I'm Emperor around here you know name it and it's yours yeah within reason oh I knew you'd help us dear Tin Man uh, I mean, I mean, Your Majesty. Just call me Tin Man. As in the good old days when you and I and the Scarecrow roamed all over Oz having wonderful adventures. The Scarecrow's the reason we've come. He's lost his throne to a witch named Mombi. A wicked witch, your royal, uh, I imperial, invisible, uh, uh, uh... What are you saying? <gasps> That's dreadful. She's holding him prisoner. Uh, and Toto, too. She'll do awful things to them. Unless you drive her out of the Emerald City. Exactly. Just what I had in mind. Mobilize the army. Call up a lady the cop scouts. Hooray! Uh, Gloria, I'm invincible. Understand? Zami, uh, uh, how many? No men. No, no women. No men and no women? Well... Elephants. Green elephants. Green elephants? An enormous herd of giant green as spiders and dust as the toes. <laughs> elephants? Giant green elephants? Magical giant green elephants? <laughs> Empire. Man. Yeah, 
spells and and hard and anyone but thee but keep me off the best I don't possess is almost any nope I just can't afford the mighty lion uh, hold him a little lower honey don't make me snap <laughs> Elephant? <laughs> well, if it's elephant fighting you want, you've come to the right shop. Oh, good. Let's get started right now. Now maul them, mash them, murder them, massacre them. Tie their trunks into bow knots. Snap off their tusks and use them for toothpicks. I'll, I'll tame elephants, you say? <laughs> well, not exactly tame. Oh, well, I can lick wild elephants, too. I'll pulverize them, paralyze them, I'll... <laughs> How wild? Well, they're not exactly wild, either. They're sort of green. Green? Green. <laughs> Strange color for elephants. <laughs> they're magical. Mom bewitched them up. Magic? Witchcraft? Uh-oh, here we go again. Wonder who he'll send us to. Bright, green, magical elephants. Led by a witch? Dorothy, my dear, I I'm afraid the Emerald City Rumble I is out for now. I just remembered a previous engagement. Oh, no. Well, there's nothing I'd rather do than fight elephants, ordinarily, especially magic green elephants, but I, I, I guess I'll have to take a rain check. What's more important than saving your friend, the Scarecrow? It's, it's, it's a movie job. Some independent producer's hiring me to roar over his titles. <laughs> oh, dear. And I was so sure I could count on you. You're so brave and... Listen, Dorothy, it, it takes more than courage to fight witchcraft. N-E-R-V-E -E spells nerve. <laughs> And anyone knows that nerve can throw you quite a curve. As anyone knows, a dragon looms up large. And your nerves tell you to charge. But you find out when you do that the dragon's nervy too. <laughs> Dear friend, I'd like to go, but no siree. Gee, although you're in a jam, I'll stay the way I am. Cause I sure ain't got an awful lot of N E R V E. As almost anyone knows. Say, Dorothy, I have a great idea for you. Oh, brother, I saw this coming. Y you see, 
you've got to fight magic with magic. So my advice to you is to get on your horse and go to see your old friend, Glinda, the Good Witch of the North. Glinda! Dorothy, my dear. I was just wishing you were here. I know. That's what brought me. But how did you know I was here? Oh, I keep track of things. I don't have a crystal ball like Mombi's, but I do have my Glinda bird with her tattletail, and she keeps me posted. Tune in on the Emerald Palace, please. Don't worry. <laughs> Bye now. So you know about Mombi and what she's doing? Yes, and our friends are in great danger. Then you will help? Oh, say you will. You're our last hope. Mombi's evil magic is very powerful. I'll do what I can, but even good magic has its limits. In the end, Dorothy, it's up to you. I don't understand, Glenda. I thought magic could, could do anything. No, my dear. You have only you. In ourselves, we have some of the greatest magic of all. Now that you understand, I can show you this. In this silver box is my counter magic. It's an illusion. If it is to work, you must do exactly what I say. Open only in the Emerald City, and then only in case of dire emergency. Is that clear? Open only in Emerald City, and then only in case of dire emergency. You'll want to open it sooner, but you mustn't have faith in yourself. I understand. Another thing, the silver box mustn't be seen by anyone before you actually use it. Now, where can you hide it? Let me see. As it happens, ma'am, uh, I am somewhat hollow. You may have noticed a sliding panel in my side. That's it. Open it up and pack me full. I am the poor man's Trojan horse. Now, no time to lose. Off with you. Thank you, Glinda. <laughs> Keep them tuned in, Glinda Bird. They're going to need plenty of help. So they've been visiting that goody-goody Glinda, eh? And I suppose she gave them some magic to use against me. How ridiculous. Trying to pit her namby-pamby little spells against my wonderful enchantments. Still no use taking any chances. I'll stop them before they get to the Emerald City. How shall I do it? By a wall of flame? By flood? I know, I know. The ferocious forest. They'll never come out of it alive. 
Zebra. One, two, three. When in doubt, try a tree. Surrounded. Uh, this is Mombi's magic, I can tell. Let's open the silver box and use Glinda's magic. Ah, uh, Glinda said open only in the Emerald City. Dead. But we'll never get to the Emerald City if we don't. No, we promised Glinda we can't. Oh, oh, my poor dears. They're in serious trouble now. Mombi has cast a very powerful spell. What can I do to help them? Mombi magic. How to match it. For ferocious forest, one golden hatchet should please. Go chop and lop and stop those trees. Do you think it's time for the silver box now? Well, she said open only in case of dire emergency. I guess this is pretty dire. Honey, you'll never find anything dire. Ow! Uh, hurry! Hurry! It won't open! Press the spring! I did! It won't open! It's stuck! Hurry up, for goodness sake! <laughs> Magic elephants are afraid of her, are magic mice. 
That long-nosed warthog chipped my enamel. I'm gonna need a new paint job. Please, we're not safe yet. Mombi still holds the palace. Still holds the scarecrow and Toto, too. We've got to save them. If we're not too late. Onto the palace. Giddy up. Now I'll dispose of you, Mr. X-King of Oz. That brainy head of yours will make an elegant king-size pincushion for the royal sewing room. A pincushion? Ah! He needs that like a hole in the head. And as for your vile stuffing, here, go build yourself a nest. And that's just the beginning. I'll pluck you piece by piece, bit by bit. Till you're nothing but a bundle of dirty rags that I'll throw into the fire. But not just yet. Worry a while. Now what shall I do with you, Toto? Turn you into a marble statue and set you on my mantle? No, not a statue, drat you. Marble's not horrible enough. Not for Dorothy's pets. Let's see. I know, I know. I'll make a special brew just for you. Shrink you to mouse size and feed you to my cats. What do you think of that? was a family of famous witches. Great grandma had world renown. She was the witch who put the hex on an entire city we'll call X. She brewed a brew which they all sipped into a coma. They slipped. My sisters and my cousins and my aunts all won prizes for their poisonous plants and dear mother as she bid this realm adieu said sweet daughter this advice I leave with you <laughs> If you're gonna be a witch, be a witch, not a wishy-washy witch, but a witch, be that witch which all the witches follow, be a vulture bird and not a swallow, have a cackle that is nice and hollow. If you're gonna be a witch, be a witch. <laughs> if you're gonna be a witch, be a witch, not a namby pamby witch. Never switch, be a witch that's absolutely ruthless. And to coin a phrase, be downright toothless. And in every photograph, be toothless. If you're gonna be a witch, be a witch. That's the pitch. Be a witch. Be a witch. Ah! Mommy! Mommy! Ah! Look! My elephants! In retreat! Who's chasing them? The cowards! The cowards! No matter what happens, you'll never regain the throne of Oz. And you'll never see Dorothy again. You can't hurt that poor little dog, Mombi. He's never done anything to you. Go on, Mombi. Shrink him. Shrink him. If you're gonna be a witch, be a witch. <laughs> Look what you've done. Ah, mommy! How humiliating! Scarecrow, 
you're safe. Am I glad to see you? Did you send those magnificent mice? Oh, no, come back. He's after them on me. She ran through the secret exit. Come on. With my poison thorns. Old Mombi isn't through yet. and crushed. Toto, hush. It's Mombi. Yes, Mombi, Queen of Oz. It's all your fault, Dorothy. Why, oh, why did you have to return to Oz? If you hadn't come back, I would have ruled forever. Ruled Oz. Ruled Tinland. Ruled the forest. And all the enchanted places. Made everyone my slave. Now it's too late. Too late. I'm crushed. Withering. <laughs> What's happening? You see, when a witch dies, all her magic dies with her.
Pumpkin Head? Where are you? Pumpkin Head? Oh, Pumpkin Head, what's happened to you? Dorothy, don't forget, Mumby made him too. When she died, the enchantment was broken. I don't care. He's my friend. I want him back just the way he was. I'm gonna miss you, you, you old melon head. What good are my famous brains if I can't figure a way to bring him back? Oh, Glinda, Glinda, I'm, I'm so unhappy. There, there now. Remember, you're the bravest girl in Kansas and Oz. And you've just saved your friends from a terrible fate. But he was my friend, too. Glinda, can't you do some magic and, and make him come back the way he was? No, my dear. He was given life by Mumby's magic and lost it when she was destroyed. This is a case where my magic cannot prevail. You mean he'll never come back? Perhaps, if we have faith. Oh. Hello. Oh, you're alive! Oh, thank you, Glinda. You did know a way to bring him back. No, dear. I didn't do it. You did. There is a magic stronger than Mombi, a magic stronger than mine, the strongest magic in all the world, faith and love. Say, Darky, you didn't forget me, did you? Remember that high-paid, low-work job we were talking about? You think you could put in a word to your friend, the king? Dear fellow Ozodians, <coughs> I am delighted to be here today. And a little surprised, too. <laughs> but I want you to know that I owe my life and crown, and you owe your freedom to three very brave friends who I am delighted to honor now. Charlesworth Pinto Stallion, the third, front and center. I mean you, Charlie. Hey, th th that's me. For your courage, your loyalty, your uh, resourcefulness, and your abundant store of, um, uh, horse sense, I appoint you royal steed to lead the Royal Oz cavalry in all formations, to carry me in all parades and processions at regular pay, plus a special bonus of three bales of oats a month. Thanks, Your Majesty. Pumpkinhead, step forward. Pumpkinhead, you were the first to alert Dorothy to the evil designs of Mombi and have loyally supported her in her great campaign to save Oz. I therefore dub you Sir Pumpkinhead and appoint you my Minister of Agriculture. Thank you, Your Majesty. I shall endeavor to fulfill my duties to the best of my incapacity. How about them bananas? And finally, my dear friends, Dorothy, our lovely, brave little friend from Kansas, <clears throat> who for the second time mm -hmm, came to Oz to rid our land of evil. <clears throat> the Dorothy, dear, you may have anything in my power to give. Thank you, Your Majesty. There's only one thing I want now. And that's to go back to Kansas. Must you go? Can't you stay here with us? Who love you so? But Uncle Henry and Aunt Em love me too. 
And besides, I miss Kansas in a way, even its flat old prairies. And Toto misses it, too. Just thinking about it gives me a funny little feeling inside. Funny little feeling? Dorothy, aren't you well? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. That isn't the kind of feeling I mean. Well, what exactly do you mean? There's a sad little feeling you feel when you hear a train. There's a sad little feeling you feel that you can't explain. It's a lot like the feeling you feel when you start to roam. I guess you could call it that feeling for home. There's a sad little feeling you feel when the cold There's a sad little feeling you feel when you stub your toe. It's a feeling the honey bee feels for the honeycomb. I guess you could call it that feeling. I wish I could help you, Dorothy, but I'm...